Subscriptions account Crazy IGCSE. Welcome back to Crazy IGCSE. For those of you who are new to my channel, hi, this is Crazy IGCSE where you can study 7 IGCSE subjects at one place. The subjects include biology, physics, English, mathematics, business, economics, and accounts. So here is IGCSE at your fingertips. Please subscribe to my channel like this video and comment down. Now let's start the topic. So this is a subscriptions account format. This is the balance brought down outstanding. This will be the opening balance brought down outstanding which is at the start of the year. The balance brought down prepaid, the opening balance, the which means the balance brought down prepaid subscriptions account at the start of the year. Then income and expenditure account is the amount which we have to find over here because we need to find the actual subscriptions amount by finding the income and expenditure account in the subscriptions account so then we just wait for this amount then we uh, write the bank amount the bank amount will be the subscriptions amount from the receipt and payment account we write it over here then we have to record the balance carried on prepaid and the balance carried on outstanding. These will be the closing amounts, which is at the end of the year. So we write those as well. Then we find the area, which the debit or credit side, whichever is the highest. We write the amount and accordingly we subtract it with the remaining amount. So if this is 5,000 and here we are having 600. So it will be 5,000 minus 600 and then we get an amount of 4400 so that will be your subscriptions amount in the income and expenditure account so this is how we find it and after we do that we write the brought down part so this is carried down here so here we brought down outstanding here is carried on prepaid so here it becomes balance brought down prepaid and we write the same amount which is here over here and same amount which is here over here now you if you want to remember which is brought down which is prepaid uh, sorry which is outstanding which is prepaid for that you could do if here it left side will be outstanding which is debit side and the credit side will be prepaid then over here the last amount will also be outstanding because up the first one is outstanding and since the first one is prepaid the end will be prepaid then over here will be the up opposite of outstanding which is prepaid and opposite of prepaid which is outstanding here so subscriptions accounts so the actual subscription to be received of the current year is in the income and expenditure account which is found by preparing the subscriptions account the purpose of preparing this account is to find the actual amount of subscriptions then the bank in the subscriptions amount is the subscriptions amount in the receipt and payment account and if there is a new business there will be no opening balance for the subscriptions account as it will be new and if there are subscriptions in the previous year of the current year this is the second method apart from the format this is the second method of finding the subscriptions so here is outstanding subscription amount in the previous year so if there's any subscriptions amount in the previous year which is outstanding normally outstanding is added but if it's in the previous year then it will be deducted just the opposite if there is prepaid subscriptions amount in the previous year we will do the opposite normally prepaid is deducted but here we'll add it then outstanding amount in the current year will be done normally it will be added and prepaid will also be done normally deducted for the current year and if there is outstanding next year it will be done normally added and prepaid next year will be normally deducted then we record subscriptions adjustments in the income and expenditure account the, ex the adjustments mean the uh, outstanding or the prepaid part in the income and expenditure account and we record the subscriptions without the adjustments in the receipt and payment account so now let's look at some past paper questions so 
so this is the first question we have to prepare a subscriptions account for the year ended 31st october 2015 now you have two options to prepare or find this subscriptions amount this is the first method and the answer over here is the second method now first let's look at the first method so as you saw the format of the subscriptions account we record the balance brought down outstanding on this side so we have 360 of balance br brought down outstanding because accrued is 360 on the first uh, start of the year then we have balance brought down prepaid which is 450 we record that amount as well then we need to find the income and expenditure account and we record bank on the credit side so the bank amount here is 6180 so it's received during the year so the receipt you get is the subscriptions bank account in the subscriptions account so that's a 6180 then we need to find the balance per down prepaid and outstanding but for outstanding we do not have any amount here at the end of the year so we have only prepaid amount at the end of the year so we record the end of the amount 270 then we need to find the highest side which side is having the highest total so now our credit side is having the highest total of 6630 so we write 6630 on both the sides and then we minus 6630 with 270 and 360 so 6630 minus 360 plus 270 and then you get the income and expenditure account which is 6000 so here your subscriptions account is 6000 so in the income and expenditure account in the income side you'll be writing 6000 as a subscriptions amount now our second way of finding the subscriptions amount is we have 6180 here i'll just change the color so we have 6180 then we uh, as we saw that if there is outstanding in the previous year then we minus it and if there's prepaid in the previous year we add it so now you see 2014 november 1 it is subscriptions paid in advance so we add it plus 450 then we will minus this accrued part minus 360 and then we'll normally minus this 270 and the amount you get is 6180 plus 450 minus 360 minus 270 and you get the answer as 6000 so both the methods you can do but if they especially ask you to prepare a subscriptions account then you will have to go for this first method so this is our second question it is a mcq a sports club charges its members an annual fee of hundred dollars its subscriptions account has been given so this is the subscriptions account which has been drawn then we need to identify which statement is true so first of all if you go to see the income and expenditure account the subscriptions amount is 12,000 then there is uh, each uh, annual fee for one member is $100 so if we do 12,000 divided by 100 we will get to know how many members have paid hundred dollars and got twelve thousand so one twelve thousand divided by hundred is one twenty so now we know that we have one twenty members who have paid hundred dollars each so now let's look at the first statement four members had paid in advance at the start of the year now we can't identify that by just seeing this information so we can put a cross the second one is 120 members paid their fee during the year now we don't know if they paid during the year or the previous year so that's also cross then the subscriptions in arrears which is the outstanding subscriptions amount has decreased during the year we can't say that either so that's also a cross then d is the club had 120 members during the year and we have already found that 
when there are 120 members. Thus, D is the correct answer. Our third question is, we need, uh, we need to prepare a subscriptions account. So here is the subscriptions account. The first part of this question, we'll have to uh, prepare a receipt and payment account which is already prepared over here and we'll not be looking into it right now we will see that in our next video which we practice the receipt and payment account and income and expenditure account so now we'll just prepare the subscriptions account so first of all here there is no uh, subscriptions amount outstanding nor prepaid at the start of the year so thus we don't have any amount here then we write bank and we write income and expenditure but we don't find the income and expenditure right now so let's find the bank amount the bank amount here in the receipt and payment account is 4100 we write 4100 here after that we'll have to write up prepaid and outstanding so let's see if we have prepaid and outstanding so here it says four members have paid their subscription for the year ending 31st December 2017. However, one member still owes uh, its subscription for 2016, which means it is outstanding. And then this one uh, is prepaid. So now we know that um, the annual subscription is $100 each now we know there are four members and four members have paid which means four into hundred which is equal to four hundred so this will be your prepaid amount prepaid amount then we need to find our outstanding amount one member still owes so one into hundred gives us hundred dollars so 100 is your outstanding amount so we write 100 here and 400 here then we find the total so we got 4200 here then 4200 so the credit side is the highest then we um, minus 4200 with 400 so we get an amount of 3800 and that 3800 amount is the income and expenditure account amount so uh, we'll be recording 3800 as a subscription under income in the income and expenditure account then we can just balance it so we have balance product and outstanding here so we just write the same here prepaid is here so we write the prepaid so this is our other question we have to calculate the subscriptions for the year ended 30 September 2017 now let's check if we have any brought down outstanding and brought down prepaid at the start of the year so here we can see at 1st October 2016 we have subscriptions owing by members so that is 600 so we can write 600 here but we do not have any prepaid amount over here for subscription so we can just put a dash then we find the bank amount so the bank is 12540 in the subscriptions account so we write 12540 over here then we add income and expenditure and then we wait to find it so then we have to find the brought down prepaid at the end of the year and brought down outstanding at the end of the year so here if you see they have given direct information at 30 September 2017 the subscriptions owing was 240 which means the outstanding amount so it's 240 here and the subscriptions prepaid is 180 over here so we're at 180 here then we find the total we get the credit side highest so 12780 12780 and then we do 12780 minus 180 180 plus 600 and then we get 12000 
then we just write the same over here so broad and outstanding is 240 and broad and prepaid is 180 now this is our first method of finding it our second method is this so this is our second method using just calculation instead of drawing the whole account so here we have 12,540 let's just erase everything so here we have 12,540 then at the start of the year we have subscriptions owing 600 so here we minus the 600 because it's in the previous year and it's outstanding so we do the opposite by minusing it then at 30 September 2017 we have outstanding 240 so we just add the 240 because it's the same year we add 240 and then we minus the prepaid which is 180 so we get 12540 minus 600 plus 240 minus 180 and we get 12000 as the answer so in this way also you get the subscriptions amount as 12000 now let's look at this question so we need this is a mcq they have given us the subscriptions account already we need to identify which statement is correct now our first statement is subscription in advance at first january 2018 were 50 dollars so we know that this amount here is prepaid same way this amount is also prepaid which is 50 so we have this correct amount over here so A is the correct answer. So this is the next question. We have to prepare the subscriptions account. So here you cannot use the second method of just calculation. You have to prepare this whole subscriptions account. They have already given you the format. You just have to fill in the details. So in this question, we have balance brought down prepaid because received in advance at 1st April 2017 120 so here we have written balance brought down 120 this is prepaid amount but we don't have any outstanding amount the outstanding amount is the closing balance brought down um, outstanding balance carry down sorry so here we need to write bank so the bank amount they have given is 4740 we record 4740 then we need to find the brought down or sorry the carry down outstanding or the carry down prepaid so they've given us the carry down outstanding 140 so we write 140 over here we find the total which is 5000 and then we write 5000 here as well now when we are finding this we don't have anything on our debit side so that's how the income and expenditure will become 5000 minus 0 which gives us 5000 so 5000 is the subscriptions amount which will go under incomes in the income and expenditure account and then we try this balance carry down which is outstanding on this side as brought down April 1 in this question we have to find the subscriptions amount for 31st January 2016 so now for this question it's very simple you just need to uh, do the calculation so all you have to do is uh, take 150 members which is we have to find the original amount of subscriptions without the adjustments and everything so we take 150 members there are 150 members into the subscriptions per member is hundred dollar so into hundred which means it is subscriptions amount received by the by Lodi sports club as 15,000 as the subscriptions account this is it please like subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell to be updated on more of my upcoming videos Thank you for watching Crazy IGCSE.